Boy, it is a beautiful day in L.A., isn't it? Oh, woke up this morning, it was 56 and hazy, and so was I. My birthday was last week, but I'll tell you something. I will tell you something right now. I don't feel my age. I, I, I feel my neck and my knees, and I feel my back, but I do not feel my age. But here's what I want to talk about today. Uh, speaking of age, this will date some of the, some people that know what I'm talking about here. Something that's been around for longer than me, not Barbara Walters, but does anyone, <laughs> anybody remember these things right here? <laughs> anybody under 20 watching may not know what this is. We used to listen to music with these. It is called a record. <laughs> this is an Al Green record back in the day. This is, yep. Back in my day, this is how we made babies. <laughs> Turns out 2013 was the biggest selling year for records in the last 20 years. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yep. Do you know how many they sold? 10. Biggest selling in 20 years. No, six million records were sold. Apparently, they're cool again. And uh, here's the, the record inside, and people love the sound of these. And Lady Gaga wears these as a hat. She'll put this on. <laughs> That's how she finds her wardrobe. Um, but they really are popular. Again, thank you, Stuart. Um, this is true. The other day, I got an email for a sale on record players, and it said, relive a simpler time. And I like the way records sound, but I don't know if it was a simpler time. Back then, if you wanted to play a record, first you had to find it on your bookshelf, the one that was made out of cinder blocks and wood. <laughs> of course, you'd hit your head on the hanging fern that was above it, <laughs> knocking your lava, lava lamp over. But it didn't break because you had shag carpet. <laughs> and then you put it on, and then you had to count the number of grooves to find the track that you wanted to put, <laughs> right? And then... Then you had to get a large bird and put its beak down right on that area. I may be thinking of the Flintstones now, but I think it's great that records are making a comeback, uh, but now music really has never been simpler. You, I can press a button on my iPhone and tell it to play Katy Perry, and you know what it does? It calls my friend Larry. And, <laughs> but younger people are buying records because they're vintage. They call it nostalgia craze, and I think that's a good thing, because now um, when my nieces are over, and um, they look at me and they tell me that the apple juice is expired. I say, no, it's vintage. <laughs> Not expired. <laughs> I think it's great that people can appreciate things from another time. I don't care if my music is on vinyl or iPhone. I just care that I can dance to it.